I just finished reading Zytoon, a book by Dave Eggers. Thanks to Susan at Orca Books for recommending the book and for lending it to me. Zytoon is the story of one family's ordeal during Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. There are many stories from Katrina. This one deals with a Syrian-born man and his Muslim wife and children in a post-9-11 America. The major issues in this book concern family dynamics, public perceptions, and to a lesser extent, media sensationalism. New Orleans is a unique place in America, and I have visited several times. I love the food and the music, and I have some friends there who still live there. New Orleans is a place where there are many cultures that mix, and even though they may be black, white, Creole, or Cajun, they're proud of their culture and the spirit of New Orleans. In many areas subject to severe weather, there's always the question of should we stay or should we go when a storm approaches. This arises because the media always portrays a worst case scenario, and those who live in those areas have been through many false alarms. He is not easily prone to frenzy and has business interests to protect. She is a mother and thinks of the safety of her children. He stays. She goes. And the storm hits. After any disaster, you will see the best and worst of human nature. People doing what they can to help. People looking out for themselves and people who run amok. A major part of this book is about attitudes toward Middle Eastern people and Muslims in the post-9-11 hysteria. Mr. Zaitun eventually gets into a jam because of his foreignness in the state of martial law in the city. America considers itself a Christian nation, but most don't think of Jesus as coming from the Middle East. He probably looked more like Yasser Arafat than the white guy pictured in many American churches. Jesus would probably be thought of as a terrorist if he was in America at this time in history. It is sad that America, a nation of immigrants, has become so xenophobic. Zaytun is a book that I recommend, though the people who choose not to read it are probably the ones that should read it and learn that folks are folks, not stereotypes as portrayed in the media. Let's hope that someday we will be able to see past one's appearance and live together. I'm Nick in Alaska. Thank you for watching. Give this a thumbs up if you agree, and please subscribe to my channel.